G'day riders, this is Mr Kiwi Rider and today I'm going to do an unboxing and a bit of an initial review on the new bevel seats for Softail from Harley Davidson. The first thing I did want to say is that here in New Zealand we are a little bit limited to access to the premium seat builders, the, uh, the Mustangs and the saddle men of the world. By the time we pay for the exchange rate and for the shipping to get items like that down here, uh, it can be thousands of dollars or in the thousands of dollars. So what I do is um, I, I check out what I can get locally. We have a Harley Davidson store here in town which we spend a lot of time at. So um, that's what I try and do, try and get the best of what I can from the Harley Davidson brand, uh, for better or for worse. So recently I was looking through the Harley Davidson website, searching under my bike, the Softail Street Bob, and I noticed that they had a relatively new seat called the Bevel uh, seat. And I liked the look of it, it had a constructed look, carbon fiber-ish look, uh, it had buttons in the seat, I thought, it looks really good uh, and um, the suggestion was that uh, it was a little bit more comfortable than my current seat which is the Badlander. So I thought, I bit the bullet and I thought I'll give that a try so I went down to Harley Davidson and asked them to order it in for me. So I did want to show you my progression um, with the seats that I've had on my bike. Obviously initially the bike came with the solo seat, and uh, anybody who has a Softail Street Bob knows this seat. It works, you can sit on it. Uh, is it very comfortable? Maybe for half an hour, if that. Uh, it's built quite well, and it has a certain look to it. A lot of people that get the Softail Street Bob change up the seat pretty quickly, especially if they're doing any kind of distance riding. So the Badlander seat, I've had this for just under a year, it's been a good seat. It hasn't been a great seat, but I have uh, toured New Zealand South Island on it and it wasn't too uncomfortable. But it is a low cost seat, the reason, one of the main reasons I chose it is because of the look. It gave my street bob quite a, quite a nice line. So that brings us to the bevel seat for Softail from Harley Davidson. I'm quite excited to, uh, to have a look at this. As I say, it looked good on the website and I've seen uh, a few bikes that already have the seat on it. So I've been able to, to look at it and, and, and imagine what it's gonna look like uh, on my bike. So here we go. The box is open, the Harley Davidson saw this was the first time that they had the bevel seat in so they couldn't resist opening it to have a look. Uh, I don't begrudge them that to be honest. Right on. All right, so it looks like there's three parts to it. Obviously the seat itself, the instructions, and the kit that comes with it, which has uh, the seat strap, the fixings. Let's have a look. I'm excited. The Harley Davidson bevel seat for soft tail. My first thought is I like the look of it. I like the line of it. I'm hoping that it's a bit more comfortable than the Badlander uh, because I did want something that would keep the line of the bike but still be more comfortable over long journeys. And also, I wanted it to be more comfortable uh, for a passenger. We sometimes take uh, my daughter out on rides 
So you do want something that's gonna be a little bit comfortable for a passenger if, they're, if you're expecting them to ride for as long as we are. So judging by this, it looks like this fixture bar here is gonna extend out obviously past the seat. So that's something to take into consideration for the look of the rear part of your bike. I don't mind that, it's powder coated black. So it goes with the blacked out look of the bike. It looks to be pretty well constructed. It is vinyl. I really like the features that they've given it. They've given it this faux carbon fiber look back here. They've added a chevron type stitching here which lead to these metal type buttons here. And they've got what looks like black powder coating in the middle of them. I really like that and that, that forms this bucket type shape of the seat. And uh, this part here, which is what the seat is named after, this bevel, the suggestion is that that's gonna give the lower, the lower back and the butt a bit more support. Another thing that I notice initially about this is it does feel like it's got a lot more usable padding. It feels quite soft and padded. Just pressing on that, it, it feels nicely padded, particularly in this passenger part as well. It's broader than the Badlander. So hopefully that's gonna give a passenger a bit more width there to, to work with, uh, to sit on. And it does feel a lot more padded there in that passenger section. I don't know how this compares with the premium seats. I would absolutely love to be able to um, uh, physically see and, and touch uh, one of the Saddlemans or the, or the, or the Mustangs uh, to really know I know that there's a lot of good construction that goes into those seats, but this feels this feels quite good. And as I say, access here is limited, so we kind of got to go with what is reasonably uh, inexpensive to get down here. My first thoughts, my initial thoughts on looks, is I really like the look of this seat. This is quite, I don't know, how would I describe this? Beefy and a little bit chunky but definitely looks very constructed. I do like it, I like the buttons, I like that carbon fiber look. All right, let's get the seat on and see what it looks like. Just make sure I get the clip lined up at the front here. That seems to sit under there quite nicely. Unlike the Badlander, which initially had a little bit of play, a little bit of movement in the front, that, that seems to initially be quite secure there even without the rear bolt on. The first thing I notice is that there is a little bit of bend in that seat as in the fixing is sitting proud, is sitting up. Could be a positive, it could keep that uh, the seat bolt securely in. I like it. The constructed look of it does go quite well with the engine, the blacked out engine. I like it. All right, I've got a seat bolt somewhere here. Just hand tighten that for a wee second. Get my screwdriver out. I always hold the end of that screwdriver quite firmly because I don't want it to slip and scratch the paint. All right. I like the line of that. It does mimic the Badlander a bit. It's that nice sweeping design, unlike the likes of the Sundowner, which is big and pillowy and bulky. I'm, I'm a very visual person and I really like a seat that does keep the lines of the bike. All right, let's have a, a sit on this and see what the initial thoughts are. So the first thing I notice about it is that it is very different than the Badlander. The Badlander was sort of smooth and curved, whereas this is very straight lines. Uh, as I say, it's quite a little bit more padded. There's more padding going on, but I do notice that bevel part of the seat right up to my back. 
Initially, I think it feels, it feels quite good. I like that support. I like the support of that bevel in the back. It does feel relatively comfortable just sitting like this. Obviously a road test is the only way to know how it's gonna feel when riding. I don't know whether you can hear, but it is pouring with rain today, so I won't be taking it out today, but I will keep you informed on how the seat does perform out on the road. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a subscribe. We do varied videos from product reviews to road trips to humorous videos. So if you like a bit of varied content, please, we'd love to have you on board. Thank you.